Yes, I've just booked my AI 900 exam for the Azure AI Fundamentals certification. I'm going to be taking this certification in a few weeks time. Microsoft certification exam scheduled. Thanks for scheduling your Microsoft certification exam. You're on your way to earning an industry recognized credential, validating your skills, and we wish you success as you continue your learning journey. What's up guys, it's Caleb Only Certified here and I've just booked another exam. Now, what is the AI 900 exam exactly? To give you guys a little overview of what this is from the Microsoft Learn website, it says, this certification is an opportunity for you to demonstrate knowledge of machine learning and AI concepts and related Microsoft Azure services. I'm super excited about taking this certification and I'm sure you guys know exactly why. Well, it's no secret the current path the world is on. You can't leave your house without hearing something about AI. Now the AI 900 is not a brand new certification. This certification has been around for a number of years. It's not like the AWS AI certifications that have just been released. Although it's been around a number of years, it's recently been updated to involve a whole section for generative AI. And generative AI is the exact thing that's been taking over the world right now. So the big question, is this certification really worth it? Should you invest your money in taking this exam? Now it definitely depends on you. And I can't speak for everyone, but I can definitely speak for myself. And for myself, I definitely think this is worth the investment. With the way the world is going right now, the interest in AI is only growing. And as an engineer in the tech industry, I'm looking at this as an opportunity to go far deeper into the knowledge of AI and jump on the AI bandwagon. I want to build some solid foundations that can be validated with a certification in this AI space. And I also want to gain a good understanding of how AI is being integrated into the Microsoft stack, which I use and work with almost every day. So I'm really using this certification as an opportunity to just learn more about this AI space and validate what I've learned. Now there is also an associate certification called the Azure AI Engineer Associate. And I don't know right now if I want to take this certification after I pass the AI 900, but depending on the interest and whatever happens and wherever we go with this, I could potentially be taking this certification afterwards. Upskilling in AI is a priority for me right now, and I'm sure it is for loads of other people working in the tech space. So as you know, I will let you guys know how I do on the AI 900, and I'll also let you know if I'm going on to take the AI Engineer Associate, the AI 102. I'll put out another video once I pass and tell you guys exactly how I passed and what resources I used. I plan to use only free resources to study for this exam. The only thing I'm gonna pay for is the actual exam. Most of the fundamental exams, I try to just use free resources because there's so much stuff out there, like free code camp or uh, Microsoft Learn, and I don't feel like you need to pay for any courses past this exam. So I'll hopefully be only using free resources and I'll let you guys know exactly what I use if you're trying to go ahead and pass that exam as well. This video on whether it's worth it or not is really just me putting it out there that I'm taking this exam and, and why it's worth it to me and I hope that resonates with some people. And also, I like to put this out there that I'm taking this exam before I actually do it for some accountability from my audience. So you guys really help me when it comes to actually doing this exam. I know that I've said it on the channel, so I have to go ahead and do it, and I can't procrastinate. Thanks so much guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.